Welcome back everyone, welcome back. Picking up where we left off, last video. In last video we were talking about TikTok, I was going to the gym. In this video I'm done training, I'm going home from the gym. The idea for this video is that lane splitting is being done the safest here in Holland. I want to talk to you about how we went lane split here and what the rules are, but I kind of need traffic for that to show it. So here's hoping that we have some traffic. And as you can see, it's not that dark, but my visor make it seem as if it's midnight. So I'll be opening and closing my visor all the time. And this bicycle on top of the car is very sketchy. I can see it moving all about. I hope it doesn't fall on top of my head. Here's hoping that there's, a, there's some traffic for me to explain it. Well, I'm not sure if there's traffic, but you know what? Let me explain it anyways. Lane splitting, here's how it's been done in the Netherlands. Uh, if we go by a traffic on the highway, so we have multiple lanes, and that's where we're heading right now, the highway, we have multiple lanes. A motorcycle, mo motorcyclists or bikers are allowed to lane split, but they're only allowed to lane split on the in between the most left and the middle lane. I'm only allowed to lane split in between these two lanes. And the reason for that is if there's traffic and the cars are very slow or stop and they're here, they hear a biker, they always know that the biker will pass them from this, from this place in between these two lanes. So car riders always know where the bikers are coming from. Second rule to lane split is you're only allowed to lane split when the traffic is slower than 50 kilometers an hour. So if the traffic is moving slowly, 60 kilometers an hour, then you need to be in one of these two lanes. But if traffic is slower than 50 kilometers an hour, you're allowed to lane split from the same spot that I mentioned before. With, and this is, uh, and this is very important, with a difference of 10 kilometers an hour. So if the traffic goes 30 kilometers an hour, you are allowed to lane split with 40 kilometers an hour. So you're 10 kilometers an hour faster than the traffic. And that's very smart. Why is that very smart? Because you have a lot of videos for of bikers uh, lane splitting in uh, the traffic that stopped with 60 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour, just showing up, just going like, like, blasting past through all those cars and what happens when one car driver opens the door or thinks the left lane is going a bit fast and changes lanes all of a sudden then you're dead but if you have 10 kilometers an hour difference car riders have uh, have time to hear you come and if they don't hear you come they uh, have time to see you come in their mirrors and if they don't check their mirrors you always have time to anticipate on what, are, what the fuck they're going to do like I know if I'm 10 kilometers faster than then uh, for example this uh, this black polo and he wants to shift all here all of a sudden I have time to break I have time to uh, blend into the left lane or you know I have time I have time to I have time to adapt and react to the situation. That's why that 10 kilometer difference is very important. That's the only place where we're allowed to lane split. But there's another place that we are lane splitting here in Holland. And that's here at, at light. We are supposed to stand here, just in the row. But if we're doing it safely, and we're not going too fast, like 10 kilometers difference, like here, the, the, they are stopped. I'm passing them with around 10 to 15 kilometer speed. Then I am allowed to lane split. Now this is not in the rules, but if a, if a policeman sees you do this safely, they won't say anything. If they see you do this while you zoom in and out of lanes and you do it with 50 kilometer difference, they will stop you, they will fire you, they will ticket you. Here I'm also allowed to lane split. They're standing still, as long as it's being done slowly and safely. Like these two lanes ride in a different speed. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the speed of the faster lane and going 10 kilometers fast, in about 10 kilometers faster than that lane. And why is that? Because if I take the slower lane, of course, 
then that means that I will always be in a blind spot of the faster lane and we always want to have uh, the danger come from in front of us that way we can anticipate it if we go if we're going slow and someone behind us is going faster then that means that the, we have danger approaching from behind us we cannot see that we cannot anticipate on that so that's why always 10 kilometers faster even on normal roads it is always suggested that a biker is riding 10 kilometers faster than the traffic around him like this what i'm doing right now this is allowed i'm not speeding through here because we have a big truck and you can see how much small space i have to play in so i'm going to be patient i'm going to wait until this lane passes that truck and then i'm going back into lane splitting mode and some some car drivers are aggressive they're, they'll, they're like, if I'm not allowed to lane split, you're not allowed to lane split. If I need to wait, you need to wait. And they block your way on purpose. Don't go ahead and hit their mirrors. You're only activating aggression. You may hurt yourself. Oh my God. You may hurt yourself. And the worst thing is if it's on the right side and you hit it with your right, you hit it with your fist and your fist, your wrist like flips backwards. Uh, you cannot use a wrist anymore, then uh, good job, you cannot use a throttle anymore and you're stuck there. Like hitting mirrors is the stupidest thing to do. And if you're going to do it, use your elbow protection and hit from the top down. Don't hit from the back forward and break your wrist. Hit from the top down because you have your protection there. You may mess up your protection, but at least the mirror will break off. It won't flip back, it will break off. And the most damage you'll do is probably, on yourself, is probably your protection. But then again, don't do it. Don't do it, I don't support it. But if you're going to do it, do it in a smart way. But that's how we lane split. Like 10 kilometer difference than the traffic, do it safely and we always have a designated lane, like we always have a spot between two designated lanes that bikers always lane split from. So we will, you will never see a biker lane split from the right side of the road or all the way from the left side of the road or like, because the right side has a little bit more room going from the left in front of the car and, and, and filtering from the right side, you'll never see bikers do that. If you do that, then bikes are just like ants or mice, like, like vehicles, will not know where bikers will come from because they come from all the fucking place. Like we need to anticipate for other vehicles. And one of the safest ways to do that is to make their jobs easier by letting them know that if there's a biker coming, it's always coming from this spot with around just about this speed. So they always know to check their mirrors on that particular side. And it, it makes your job easier. It makes your riding more pleasant. That makes traffic more pleasant. But when you have rules that you you need to follow and you have car, cars that are always thinking, thinking of you and anticipating on you, that makes riding a lot more easier. And that, that, that takes the, the scary that takes the scary feeling away very fast because you see cars making space you see like uh, cars that wanted to lane split just jump back because they hear your exhaust or maybe they saw you coming and because you have a you have almost the same speed maybe a little bit faster speed than them they had time to see you they had time to react and everything happened safely Thank you guys, like this was my presentation about lane splitting here in Holland and why I think it's the safest way to do so. Multiple parts of America, for example, lane splitting is not legal. That's stupid. But a lot of places in America, lane splitting is legal, but the way they're doing it is also very stupid and very dangerous. Like I can lane split here, but I'm, you don't have to, that's another thing. You don't have to lane split all the time. I have two cars three cars maybe in front of me we're going to the same space there's a lot of cars around me but i can see like i have enough like the, the bmw behind me has left enough room between me and him like it's not it's not because you're a biker you need to lane split do lane split when you think it's necessary but when it's not necessary you don't have to do it you can take it easy you can't wait patience is good patient having patience is a good thing man if you don't need to do it you don't have to do it you can do it but you don't have to so again this was my presentation I thank you a lot. Write down in the comments below whether you agree with it or not, or write down in the comments below your own thoughts on uh, how, how the rules should be or how lane splitting should be done. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and I will see you, my good sir or ma'am, in the next video. See ya. <laughs>